So this is a club moss, a Leica fight. Uh, in the last video on Daphasi Astrum that I did, I, I generally call this a fern. Uh, thanks to Biophile for um, pointing that out uh, in the comments. This is not technically a fern. It's kind of as goofy as if I was doing a sedge video and I kept calling it a grass. Uh, it's kind of the same concept. So Leica fights are different. This is Dendro Leica Podium. And we'll talk a little more about that name in a, in a bit here. Uh, Dendro like a podium obscurum, and it's named that I'll just obscurum because Linnaeus uh, didn't understand the the fruiting thing, so they were obscure to him. So that's the name. Uh, but why this is different than a fern is it's got these these reduced leaves that are called microphylls, and they have a single vein on them. They have a single vein. Uh, these these leaves have a single vein on them. Uh, they're reduced and. Um, this differs too from Diphasiastrum, and if you want to know about the Diphasiastrum, uh, there's a link at the end of this video um, to that. Uh, in that, the stroboli, these, these are the stroboli, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit, kind of the stroboli. These stroboli are sessile, are, are sessile on the stem. So, uh, so they're, direct, they're attached directly to the stem, stalkless. And over here we have some Diphasiastrum popping up in the snow. If you can see that, if you can see that, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, they are, you can see their stalk, the Strobelier stalk. It's a little dark, it's overcast, the blizzard's about to come. So I wanted to cover this quick, the difference between a lycophyte and a fern. So these are lycophytes, club mosses, not ferns, again, because of that, that leaf, that leaf. Welcome to another fantastic video. So this is another cool club moss. This is called the Wolf's Foot uh, <laughs> Tree Club Moss. I made that up because it's actually Dendro Lycopodium Obscurum. Dendro Lycopodium Obscurum, which means Dendro means tree, Lyco means wolf, and Podium means foot. So, uh, potus, podium, podium. So it's literally the, the tree-like wolf's foot moss. I actually don't know what the actual common name is of it. Oh, rare club moss, I think some people call it. So this is sort of like the uh, Diphasiastrum, Diphasiastrum digitatum, which we have a, a video on. Um, Click on the link after this video to watch that one. In that, it has these scale-like leaves. These scale-like leaves on the branches. Uh, they're they're tightly tightly formed up the leaf. Um, they're they're more pressed along the stem, more pressed along the stem. And in cross section, they're more flat. They're more flat. If you look at them this way, they're flat. Unlike some of the other uh, dendro lycopodiums, which are more round in cross section, which are more round in cross section, they grow in with, by these subterranean uh, homesick blues. Uh, great song, by the way. Uh, these subterranean um, stems that underground. So these underground stems that shoot up another one. So this could be one individual here that I'm sitting in. This could be one individual of all of these. Um, so these all could be raymets. Raymets are are uh, genetically similar um, uh, individuals. Uh, Genets is uh, genetically differing individuals. Um, and then they, they produce on this, this lovely tall structure, these stroboli. Or as, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that stroboli in uh, Italy is stromboli. It's not, I just like strombolis. So it's fun to say stroboli. Stroboli is where the spores happen. The, uh, the stroboli are about anywhere between an inch to over two inches. And there's anywhere from, as you can see here, they're, I don't know if you can see it here, but they're, they, they, uh, they're, they're tightly clustered together here in two to six-ish um, different stroboli, about up to two plus inches. Oh, and look what we have here. We have a, uh, we have an orchid. We have I don't know if you can see this, but this is Platanthera clavelita, uh, the club spur orchid. And these, this is kind of a northern flatwoods here that I'm in, uh, which this like grow on hummocks. Nice orchid. It's fun to find orchids. Um, but yeah, so not a whole lot to talk about with this guy. Dendro, uh, Lycopodium obscurum. Um, really cool plant. So 
dendrolycopodiums, the wolf tree, I don't even remember what I called it, uh, the dendrolycopodiums, uh, obscurum's habitat is often in these, these rich woodlands. Um, so we, we were in a, in, again, a flat woods here in Indiana, um, in northwestern Indiana. Uh, so this is a rich woodland. It also, it also grows in like uh, anthropogenically disturbed some shrubby areas. Again, it, it grows in these, these, um, these colonies, these, these big colonies. So um, yeah, habitat-wise, uh, usually we see it up here in northern Indiana in these rich woodlands, though.